Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. This is a concise, well-crafted summary and it highlights only the important keywords. Inhalant drugs and we also look at the caffeine. So first is inhalant drugs. They are the volatile substances or the solvents as well. So in case of the volatile hydrocarbons, such as the toluene. So it includes toluene which evaporate to the gaseous form. Gaseous fumes at the room temperature. Next is the inhaled through the nose or the mouth as well. Then substances, it includes the solvents. So the solvents for the blues and also the gasoline. Gasoline as well as the presence of thinners. The more common in case of the children as well as the adolescents. Next, the methods of use is it includes the sniffing there is a huffing as well as the bagging and the dusting. So serious adverse effects, there is irreversible liver disease. Next, there is also presence of the renal damage. There is peripheral neuropathy, PN, as well as presence of the brain damage. There is also muscle damage, which is C. Now, let's go on to the caffeine. So under caffeine, it is nothing but the methyl xanthine. So, caffeine, it is methyl xanthine and that acts as a, an adenosine receptor antagonist. So, adenosine receptor antagonist. So, it's adenosine receptor antagonist. So, signs and symptoms wise, uh, you have a feeling of uh, alertness, you see. There is mild sense of the well-being. There is improved motor as well as the verbal uh, performance. So, motor and verbal performance is seen. A caffeine intoxication is known when there is a dose of 250 or more. So this causes leads to the anxiety. There can also be the restlessness and there is presence of sweating as well. Next, there is diuresis. There is cardiac arrhythmias as well as the tachycardia. So if the dose is more than 10 grams, what is seen? So in case of 10 grams, caffeine intoxication was seen in 250 mg or more. So, in case of 10 gram or more, it is not possible with normal beverages and it is done in case of with pills. So, here it is a generalized tonic-clonic seizures. This is observed. There is a respiratory failure. There is also, it can lead to ultimately the death and can lead on dependence. That is caffeine. Withdrawal, it includes, uh, there is depression. Depressed uh, mood is seen. There is poor concentration as well as the presence of the headache. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.